just, just, just when you thought the Bengals couldn't catch another bad break, they caught another bad break. They missed out on two key signings. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Really? Are you kidding me? Leonard Fournette, a Super Bowl champion, has playoff experience with Jacksonville, with Tampa. Could have had it with Cincinnati potentially if we made a freaking run. Xavier Howard, a Pro Bowl cornerback, could have boosted that defense. On corner, Our run defense has gotten a little better recently. A little better. Quote, unquote, a little better. Xavier Howard could have improved our pass defense by a lot. You know, Dax Hill's out for the season. What are we doing? We missed out on both these dudes. We couldn't come to an agreement with Xavier Howard. You just let him walk out of the building. Now is not the time to be penny pinching. Are you serious? We could have got, you know, if we caught these two guys, I guarantee you there'd be a single bit of more optimism. You have people, you have Bengals fans saying Joe Burrow should request a trade. You have Bengals fans saying, oh, the Bengals, like, you know, this season's over. Really? You want us to believe with this roster? Take a look at the game Thursday night on defense especially and tell us why we should believe we're going to make a run. Because I'm going to get into what we have coming up. And no, we're not completely out of the waters yet. But why would you let these two guys walk? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, this is what we did. During the trade deadline and now, now. First of all, these are two veteran dudes that we needed. These are two running... These are two positions that we need the most. We ignored some major, major gaps in the two positions that we need the most. We deserve better decisions. The Bengals are all like, oh, we can we can win with our way and what with the guys we have. How? What have you won to gain this level of um, entitlement, arrogance? You're not entitled. You think you are, but you're not. This is not building for your supposed goal of winning a Super Bowl. You got there once. You didn't win. You made it almost back to another one. And now look at us. We missed out on huge gaps that we needed to even contend for a playoff spot. And maybe sneak into the playoffs. And we did none of that. What in the world, man? And now, regardless of this organization's just not lack of effort, but just not getting things done, blowing opportunities. Because I will say they put, a good thing is they put effort. At least that's not in question. But just the, inc just the execution just does not finish with these dudes. I don't care about the details. I've said that so many times. At this point, I do not care about the details of the game. I don't care how we win. We just win. That's all that matters. And we are not doing that right now. We are four and six behind. Three games behind the Pittsburgh Steelers. Three games behind the Baltimore Ravens. And we are doing nothing to shrink the gap between those two. The Steelers have a 35-year-old Russell Wilson, 35, 36, whatever. And he is going as strong as ever, and they are winning games. The Bengals, with an even better explosive offense, with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins when he's out there, are 4-6. and six. That tells you the difference between the Ravens and the Steelers versus the Bengals. They ignore major gaps. They don't make moves that they're supposed to. And this is why... Us fans have to pay the price. And regardless of all that, I will say the Broncos and Colts did help us out yesterday. Our playoff chances went from 13% to 38% after those two lost. We have the Chargers this week. I'll have a preview out in a few days. 
And we, have, yeah, so well, then we got our bye week, so we can go into the bye, hopefully at five and six rather than four and seven, because I'm going to tell you right now, our season's over unless we win out if we lose Sunday. We have the Steelers, a team that we cannot stand, but they're better than us right now. We have the Cowboys. Cooper Rush all over again, maybe? Tennessee Titans? I don't know. That's a... The, the Browns, the Broncos, and the Steelers. We can lose to the Browns. It's not It's not out of the realm. They're not going to have Deshaun Watson. We can lose to a lot of these teams, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. And even if it looks favorable, we always find ways to blow it. What makes you think we won't do that now? I don't care about our strength of schedule or what's remaining. We always find ways to blow it. We always find ways to blow it. We'll get... You know, I wouldn't be surprised we get swept by by Pittsburgh. Even if we do come down, I will throw up if this happens. If our season comes down to week 18 against the Steelers and we and they are the ones to let, knock us out, I will puke. That is the last team I want eliminating us. So at this point, I don't know what you want to do. But like I I just don't understand. You had so many opportunities to win games. And yeah, oh, we've been competitive. Yeah, we have. We're supposed to be competitive. We've been competitive. After we lost the Super Bowl, I remember talking to a few, even like like Steeler fans, Ravens fans, Browns fans, everybody. They were saying, yeah, you guys are going to be competitive for many years to come down the line. whoop de doo we're competitive, as we should have been. But we are not finishing. We have not finished in, you know, six of these games that we were, quote-unquote, competitive in. Outside of the Eagles game, which we were competitive in the first half, then they just completely blew us out in the second half. So this is what I'm talking about. The lack of execution and just blowing games, blowing opportunities, that's what this franchise does. Whether it could be penalties that blow a game, just horrible defense, horrible play calling. Always a way to blow games. And bad teams and bad franchises, plus the NFL refs, I'll throw in that in there, are against bad teams and bad franchises who always find ways to lose. And here's my takeaway. Our current record, 4-6. and six. Divisional games are huge. Beat the Browns. Beat the Steelers. And we need to beat the Broncos. And, and, and you know, these two guys, the, the Broncos and the Colts, they need, to, they need to lose for us to get in for that last spot. Because the Chargers, they have a spot right now. But we need to... I don't know how we're going to beat the Steelers twice. I really don't see it. But we have to beat the Browns and we have to beat the Steelers. Those are huge, huge games. I don't know how... But there's time to turn it around. I don't, I, I, again, I don't know if they're aware of this, that they have to go on a run because this defense is playing absolute crap. But that's what's necessary. You can, you can lose one game maximum. Max. So, the Bengals' recent decisions, it's raised huge concerns among the fans. But there's still a path. That's my takeaway. It requires immediate action. So do something. Make a move. It can't be just the Giants running back on the practice squad. It can't be. It needs to be someone that's good. Veteran. Proven. So please figure it out with the guys you have as you guys like to say you were fine with the guys I have. Figure it out. The Ravens and Steelers, they're winning games in front of your eyes. The Broncos and Colts are vying for that last spot and they care. Wake up. And that's all I got to say. You guys have a good one. And I don't know how, I don't know if our sense of urgency is if it's if it's there or not, but hopefully it's there. Because you're 4 and 6 with this roster and that's ridiculous. So call it quits in terms of just this penny pinching and just this laziness on defense. Figure it out.